School AI assistants are basically chatbots that are designed specifically for educational purposes. To access the assistance, you can either go up to the assistance tab on the top navigation bar or from the launch pad over on the right side. Again, it will pull out a few of the more common assistants that you can access directly, or you could click see all assistance. At this point, we have a few options. Co-teacher being sort of the, the all-purpose one, the one that kind of fits if you're not quite sure what you want to talk about or what questions you have, or if none of the others seem to fit, co-teacher is a good place to start. Um, AI in education is if you are looking for something specific to AI and how you can use AI within your classroom. Um, there's a common core expert that will focus on standards, curriculum coach that will help you with developing curriculum, digital literacy coach that will help you with integrating technology, essay grading assistant that will help you with giving feedback on student writing, field trip coordinator will actually help you plan a field trip, project-based activity expert will help you create assessments that are more hands-on and project-based, and research assistant will help you with any type of research that you might need to do. Every assistant works the same way. You simply click the chat button and then you begin typing. Uh, you enter in prompts that can be as simple as help me with blank. So that gives you some suggestions here. Brainstorm lesson plan ideas, help me outline a new course, help me make a course more exciting. Uh, so you can put in any type of question or select one of the existing ones. So as you put in each prompt, it will give you a response. And then you just begin just like any other AI tool like a ChatGPT or a Google Gemini or a Microsoft uh, Copilot. Simply have a conversation and start talking about what it is that you're looking for from the assistant and it will continue to have a back and forth with you. If you wanna simplify the conversation, be as specific as you can in your initial prompt. This one was very vague, so it sort of is going to walk me through a step-by-step -step conversation. But if I had started with, help me make a specific course for a specific grade level um, more exciting, here are my course goals, and I, you can put as long of a prompt in there as you want. You can also upload files. So if you have an existing course and you wanna make it more exciting, you could upload your course description, your syllabus, your uh, weekly overview, any sort of document that you have related to your course can be uploaded and then the assistant can go and read through that and give you feedback on it. Every conversation that you have with an assistant is saved over here on the right side so that you can access it again and either continue the conversation or just see what the conversation was that you had. You can opt to delete any conversation if you don't want it saved. You can opt to share conversations with others so that uh, you can collaborate and you can edit um, the, the title of them so that you kind of understand a little more what it was that the conversation was about. Another element you can incorporate into assistance up here next to the assistant name, there's a little gear where you can give custom instructions to the assistant about you, your classroom, or your school. And this actually saves across all assistants. So I can put in my information um, as to what I do so that it tailors its responses to what I am doing as in, in my particular role. You can also give custom instructions as to how you want the assistants to respond to you. If you only want them to ever give you bulleted lists or if you only ever want them to talk to you in paragraphs or at a certain lexile level or um, in a certain type of voice or if you want them to be professional or uh, funny or anything like that, you can give that feedback and that's how across the board, again, all assistants will respond to you. As with any AI chatbot, do not take anything that it says as, as fact. It is all being pulled from the internet, from sources, and pulled together. As it says at the very bottom of the, of the page, uh, chat can make mistakes. Check important info. So be sure that any 
kind of facts or anything that, that it's telling you, you're backing that up. Um, again, anything that is created, generated by AI should be reviewed by you as the professional educator. Um, you shouldn't generally be using anything and copying and pasting it and using it as your own. That's technically considered plagiarism, just as it would be for your students. Um, so consider it more as a, an idea support, a, a resource, a help for you as a teacher, more than doing the work for you.